with my other cat and my dog. I always have both in the house. Uh -huh. And um, this kitten always stays feral. And um, I was blessed with him in my life in 2004 until 2017. And he found cancer in my body. In your body? How? Um, I would hold him or he would lay in my lap and um, he got so that he got fixated on being held on my left shoulder and was really fixated having his head on this mole on my shoulder and would lay in my lap like he used to and I finally was like, okay, what are you telling me here? and went to the doctors on a regular visit, and I said, I need you to check this mole out. Well, we scheduled another appointment. I had the mole taken out, and my primary care called me on a Sunday, which isn't a good thing, and said, you need to go in tomorrow morning, right away. You have cancer. Oh. Wow. And it was stage three C melanoma, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And so they took this massive chunk out of my arm. And, you know, fortunately, here, here I am now. And lo and behold, in 2017, he was getting ready to leave me. And he got fixated on a mole on my right side of my arm. Even though I had been going to regular checkup and he got a pre-cancerous mole before he had to leave me. Oh my goodness, and, what an amazing cat. Wow. Oh, isn't it? And uh, my dermatologist said she had never heard of a cat finding cancer, but she had her dog finding cancer in humans. Right. And letting their owners know. And like I said, this cat was there, wouldn't let anyone else except my husband see him and touch him and hold him. Mm -hmm. It was just like we were his two humans in his life. <laughs> That's a beautiful and, story. We're memorializing your kitty today. That's, yeah. Uh, you know what my first thing What was that? Sylvie, go ahead. You know what my first impulse was when you said they found the, the kitten in the dumpster behind your work? My first impulse what came to me was Miratol. He, he was your Miratol cat. And then you're telling me this wonderful story about he was helping you find the cancer. So he really was your Miratol. Very. would be here without him. Right, right. Well, thank you so much. We're glad you're okay, Lori, and appreciate your calling. Uh, let's go to Lisa in Salt Lake City. Um, Lisa, do you have a question for Sylvie? Hi, oh, yes. I actually have a couple questions. I was hoping she could possibly get you into my cat. I have one cat, her name is Sarah. She took from the litter of my mother cat, which her name is Melanie. And then I have an older cat, her name is Matt. And my son from Melanie, his name is Angel Michael. And then she also has another daughter who we call Anna Maria Gloriana. Um, the other the names are amazing, but your question is about the cat, me and Sarah. Oh, yeah. yeah, me with Sarah and then the other ones all in general. Because I feel like there's psychic or some kind of, I, I feel like there's such a soul connection. I don't understand what it is, but when I have her dress to the mother, she's a little tiny baby, a long story. She had a very special to her energy that I, I, I felt like she was very almost magical or mystical. And there's, she, she looks at things and she, she, she's so, her energy is just, I don't have to explain it, but I think you can turn into what I'm saying. How many cats do you have, Lisa? Okay, well, unfortunately, all of the father of the litters have passed away. But right now, in general, I have, like I said, Melanie, which is the mother, and there's Grandpa, Matt. He's very old. He's here. He's good to die. And then we have a, from second litter, a Melanie. She has so that's three. Three. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. There's one more. No, that's two right there. And there, there's Sarah. That's three. Then there's Gloriana. 
thank you so much. The name of the book, by the way, is Your Cat is Your Guide. And the website is also Sylvie's name, sylviesterling.com. Thank you so much for everything tonight. It's been wonderful. And enjoy the animals. We will be right back. You're listening to Coast to Coast AM.